what's up guys and welcome to part 2 of the bullet machine tutorial so the bullet that we did last time was not very perfect for a couple of reasons first if you see here the mesh size is not consistent here the mesh is big and here the mesh is small and the other thing is that the ratio of the element length are not very good you see here is very short element and here very long element and last but not least why this mesh is not good because here in the center you can see we have pentahedron elements and the size also is very small compared to the size here so with that being said, let's uh, start doing the new mesh. So before I do that, I want to show you the cross section. Go to model, then section, then show, let's say show the click positive. So this is uh, the geometry. So from here, from here to here is like a cone shape. Okay, so the length of this cone shape is 300 and the radius here is 10 and the radius here is 50. From here to here is 50 and from here to here is 40. And then this length from here until here is 478 and the last one, this height is 10 millimeter. So that we know the dimensions now. I will put everything here first and then sh uh, I will tell you what I'm going to do. So the first thing is I'm going to make this conical part. This one is like a cone. Then I will make this uh, small circular disc. Okay. And then I'm going to make this hollow cylinder. And then I will make the last disc here. So with the elements shown, yeah, I can show you more clearly. So first I want to make this one, the cone, and then this one is the disc. And from here until here, the third part, which will be a hollow cylinder. And the last one is another disc at the end here. Okay, so let us start doing that. So the key here is first you make the solid cone, then with parameters, the first radius is 10, and then 50. And the total distance is 300, and it is a full rotation, so 360 degrees. Apply. Close. It is here, it's okay, we can rotate later after we mesh it. So the mesh here, I'm going to use the solid mesher and then I put the size 5 and then try to mesh automatically. It will take some time and it hang. Okay, I will try now with the new pre-post. The latest one I have which is 4.7. The one I tried before was 4.5. Maybe that's why it was hanging. So again, I go to solid, cone, then here is 10, here is 50, and the end height is 300 millimeter apply, then close. Then I go to mesh, solid mesher, I click on this volume, the target surface, I click here, and then the element size 5, then mesh. Now I have this cone mesh, and the, the element sides are almost proportional not like the yellow guy here see the yellow guy here is kinda ugly so I'm done with the solid cone I just hide it and then I have this part number five. First, I go to element tools transform and I rotate it around the x-axis 0 0 0 then the, x, uh, the rotation 90 degree this one because I already know the center of uh, the rotation is here is zero zero zero. If not, you might need to uh, find out where is the center of rotation. So you rotate, you click on the part first, 
okay select nodes by part select this guy and then rotate negative and then you have it so now i click on f2 i hide this one now i want to extrude the side so here i go to mesh element generation and then solid by face drag 12 segment just put it one for now and it will be in the y direction so click on by element propagate and select this guy now you create and then you need to look from the side view to know approximately how many segments you, you want so i would say four or three i just go with four okay so now the tricky part the tricky part i want to extrude from here but i want to extrude a hollow cylinder so first i want to know the inside radius of that cylinder so first i want to go to mesh shape and then i go to um, circle shell and the radius of this guy is 40 radius in is zero we don't have anything zero and also this is 360 one complete rotation the position i can select by average of the center and then click by edge propagate click on the side here okay it will select all the sides then compute see it will show you the center and then done so this will be the center of the circle this one xyz the dire direction will be in y okay and then if we create you can see this is our circle what i want to do is i want to have a circle which is almost the same elements as the disk that we mesh just now so i need to increase this one until it's almost the same is it almost the same no or is it no not yet not yet i think yeah now so you, see, you can see now it is almost uh, matching so i click on accept and then now we have the circle here and we have the disk okay why i do this circle because this circle have a perfect curve but the mesh of the disk doesn't have a perfect circle as you can see here it's not really perfect if i look from this view you can see here it's not very circular it's almost straight so uh, that's why i did this circle so the next step is to duplicate the nodes so how to do that or before i duplicate the nodes i want to make a copy of this guy so i go to element tools transform uh, translate in the y direction this translation will be four seven eight then I, I make a copy of it and click by part here i make a new part let's say it's part number 100 then go up plus so i have this guy now this one i'll keep it for the future so i want right now i want this one sorry i want this one so again i go here and uh, what i want from this circle actually is only the outside nodes the one in the inside i don't really want it so i want to delete that so i go to uh, element edit then delete then how to delete uh, in a circular way i can just use here circle and i know already this one is zero 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 i mean it is zero in the x and z so the radius let's say it's 38 it's in the y direction i need to put this one then select and you can see now actually everything is selected so this radius is too much so i put 35 i cancel first i put 35 and there you go it's all deleted it's all highlighted and then i delete set and then i open this one okay now here is my trick i will use duplicate notes so that the red notes here will be aligned with the perfect perfect circle that i just made so i go to duplicate notes but here i put keep larger node id 
because I made the circle after I make the desk so the circle will have higher or will have larger node ID and if I say keep larger node, node ID that, that means when the duplicate nodes are merged it will follow the larger node ID so there I will say show duplicate nodes only two with this tolerance I can increase tolerance and then clear clear and show okay now I have this everything is great but I don't need actually to merge the inner circle I need to merge the circle outside the outside circle here so what I can do select nodes and then again select by circle now I select outside the circle that I'm going to draw so I need to draw a circle between the inner nodes and the outer nodes uh, layer so if I try 35 select both of them are selected the inner and the outside aligned so here meaning I need to go a bit bigger 36.5 select yes perfect so now when I say merge then accept you can see now we have perfect circle so now we can easily or peacefully extrude these two segments so I need to extrude that again from here element generation and how to select that first I pick by elements I pick by elements and propagate everything is selected now again I go to uh, I go to circle now I want to remove everything inside the circle select so this one is removed I need to increase the radius should be 41 yes because the radius here is 40 so I need to go larger than 40 and then I selected the things that I want to extrude then I the thickness of my extrusion is the 478 in the Y direction okay and I create oh there are some elements which are selected here I have not noticed that okay so again I go to elements I pick propagate uh, add propagate then from this right view I remove and then remove the circle anything inside this circle and select here are this some of these stubborn some not sure why it's not working so maybe we need to do the manual way so pick then remove or I can go by area okay they need it to be done one by one then create then I look from this side then just increase the segments until I reach the number that I want and that should be the number that give similar size to this one doesn't need to be exact the same but should be similar more or less the same okay I think that's good enough accept okay now I have this guy click on F2 and if you remember I have this circle now I can extrude both of them again together and the thickness here is only 10 click by elements and propagate this guy and this guy segment let's see put one first and uh, do the same thing we extrude after that we add on the seg segments until it looks fine maybe like this should be okay or make it four then accept okay so now I'll click on f2 click on this one so now I have my bullets what I can do here again go to move and copy solid number five which is the first one then I click on this one this one and click on this one then apply and then here I go I have the bullets okay I need to uh, delete the shells delete and then here you can see this is the new mesh and this is the old mesh and if you want to bisect it 
fine also. Here, I would say positive clip, and now you can see it's nicer and the elements are more evenly distributed. So, I think that's all for this tutorial. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Bye bye.